so i want to revisit a very old post that i wrote maybe it's five years question is what technology does if it or not use to re-encode videos at a very high quality and small size i'm going to read through it and i will you know it's been five years so maybe something has changed if you have ever noticed it has much to do with the still image and moving image a lot of time why did i write it like this anyways a lot of times you would see a frame freezing but the upcoming part of videos moving as internet i think i think most of you would have seen this if there is a lot of processing going on in the background or you don't have a good enough laptop this kind of error we will where you are still able to make out that there is a person here or there is a ship here something is here even though that is not actually film so by the movement of the pixel you are able to tell that yeah there is a human here or there is not a human here okay not a human here that is one of the thing but 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 the pictures is whole different and that is the answer when it comes to image processing that is at least one of the answer basically you derive the next frame from the previous frame instead of feeding each and every frame to it so instead of the old way that will without compression what happens is uh, you get put each and every one image and you know how so uh, large size an image can get so that was earlier but now we went for a long time there a new frame is being derived from the previous frame this is just one of the things that goes into compressing the video i am myself figuring out and i will update when i find some more so uh, it's it only took me five years to update anyways if you want to see it for it yourself select web so if you installed handbrake it's there for most application you put in a video here and if you select the web optimized version it will <coughs> it will you see the thing is it optimize them for progressive download okay so if this is not selected okay let me talk about this here if you try to download an old avi file or wme file of the internet and while it is downloading you try to open it with vlc as a temporary file either on pc or on phone it will not play it will say playback error however in the recent videos if anything is with mkv mp4 and if it is a recent video the, and if you try to download it and you can start playing it and you try to start playing the temporary file it will be able to play it so that is the progressive download however this what this so yeah that's web optimized i actually got a bit confused here it shouldn't be web optimized uh it should actually here be fast in a tp 60 because this is the actually actual compression setting what is selected here not this web optimized but what is actually selected here and that is this if you see the video okay uh, before moving on i am going to talk we are keeping the same frame size we are keeping the same frame rate and we are trying to achieve at least the same bit rate okay so whatever the video quality is we are trying to at least trying to even if we are reducing the bit rate we are trying to preserve the quality as much as we can okay so that is one of the important things anyways these are the few things that you see um encoder tune still image fast decode and a lot of things I, this is not what i'm concerned right now but the thing is uh if you select the advanced tab instead where is it select advanced tabs have i not enabled i think that that should be it Mm -hmm. advanced oh, anyways oh wait where did you go and the break open any video okay so you see here in the advanced options here is i think where i put it actually or and what I, here is what i put here is what i put or oh, actually use the command line interface anyways not the not the thing not the thing that we have to talk about right now where where is the setting yeah there is the setting so if you put it here you see it will select level 4 buffer size 2500 vbv max rate look ahead this much b frames this much i frames this much 
and those are the things that really matter where did i take these data from so that is the reference okay they have discussed it in a lot more detail and yeah, as you see I, when when i told that this is just one of the things that they do the other things are these kind of pattern a colored pattern okay so instead of showing you exactly the color of each pixel they try to blend uh, some pixels so that it doesn't look that bad that is one more thing that anyways so if you use these settings that i just showed you and i downloaded it, it's an nbtl is an indian uh, website of uh, ini institute of national importance and they have they can download videos directly from their website or at least you put five years ago so the original video was 288 mb even though it's horrible quality it's absolute bad i mean what can you say about it no way this deserves to be 288 mb and uh, anyways anyways no, not the point of the video this would basically be 40 50 mb so yeah i downloaded the original video and i tried to compress it into 136 mb what did i use oh yeah so uh, i also removed the extra black borders from the outside but yeah what i did was that using those settings i was able to go from 288 mb to 136 mb okay the significant difference is due to the fact that it was not at all you know the original video as i said before every image is a new image okay so where where did i write it i don't know i i don't i can't remember that much but the point is every image was a new image so they quality video video quality was so low so high i didn't compress it with ibp frame the video looked exactly the same i tried this five years ago okay and constant quality was right okay okay i didn't do the advanced setting advanced setting and if you try to download it from youtube they take even less space however the bitrate is lower if you try to upload it on youtube they lower the bitrate by a lot however in my case when i went from 288 mb to 136 mb the video quality at least to a normal human look the same or if you try to do it from youtube uh, it's quite different anyways moving on uh, recently what i did was i made a video so this is the original video that i exported from uh, davinci resolve that actually my sister did it but yeah so this is the original video and after that i went into the creator 1080 60p where is it where is it creator so this is the setting for which, which i selected the creator 1080p 60 and the last one that i selected was the handbag best compression what is the best compression these settings okay so uh, this took a few hours to generate from davinci resolve this one i think took two or three hours i'm not sure but this one i am sure took about one half or a one day so that's the difference 18 19 hours i think this would talk. and let's let, let me to show you this why size of all so the original video when it came from handbrake uh, from davinci resolve exported from davinci resolve it was 60 gbs 56 gbs and if you try to compress it with the creator it became 16.2 gbs and if you try to compress it uh, with you know the uh, best setting that i showed you in the iframe b frame thing it became 11.2 gb the, i remember this is a three hour video so that's why it's long i will link all these videos in the description but the problem is youtube youtube's compression might have removed a lot of things so what i am going to do i'm going to watch all these videos uh, right now in succession okay so i will try to watch them right now and let's see because you will not be able to tell it because youtube will compress these videos and so i i need a uh, i need to see i do not care about the audio right now so this is i play 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 it and plate okay so the best one is 60 gb what is the name the best one is 60 gb this one is the best one 
we are going to keep it here and we are going to make it original size this second one is video compressed this one should be the second one uh, can i make it three where is it three no there is uh, there is not even anyways one two and this is the last one you know what just give me a moment a moment a moment let's give it about 30 percent let's give this about 30 percent i think this must be 30 percent So first, this is the laptop stand best compression, and this must be the first one. All right, and let's try to. Oh, sorry. Let's try to play it from the very beginning. So let's try to play it from the very beginning now. So there is going to be a little bit of delay. Uh, play, play, and play. All right. Let me sync that. Is it synced? Okay. So, as you can see, let's check the codec information real quickly for all three of them before we watch this. So, as you can see, this is the highest file one. This was H265, then it became AVC, part 10, AVC1, and we are not interested in audio right now. Yeah, it gave very little information. I thought it, and there will be a lot more. Anyways, so I'm trying to see if there is any significant difference in the video or not. Close up shot would be better. So, so from this point onward, I am just watching the video. It should be still now. My both hands should be free, and it should be still soon. Uh, you know what, I think I need to pause it. You know what, I don't see any, any significant difference, if I'm being honest. Actually, I'm always honest. I don't know why I say if I'm being honest. I should have brought that stand here. But it's 5 kgs. I don't think you will be able to tell it by YouTube compression. Maybe you can, who knows. Yeah, I man, I, I, I can't see anything. I can't, I actually can't see anything. That's, you know, different from here 
let's move it twenty three. Twenty three thirty six hundred there. Thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, and thirty eight. This is another way. Yeah, now these two are synced. Let's find this one. 2348. I just want to move to a different part of the video because I remembered that one of the videos was not vertical, so it might not have all the pixels. Uh, this was just a stitching of all the along a lot of the videos. So 24. Oh. What the hell happened here? What was this video not complete? Best compression. This is the best compression. Is it playing? That is playing. Uh, maybe it crashed on my system. Who knows? If I go back, okay, so it's not playing anything further than here. Yeah, in any way, anyways, we have to to, to distinguish. Uh, oh. No, no, I can't even. I, I'm very close to the monitor right now. I am unable to find any significant aim, not even a minute difference. Maybe if someone did an alpha masking or something, you know, the actual data, but that is not how we watch videos. Huh? We watch it normally like a human being and in that case, I don't see don't see maybe in the sparks let's see Num, I can't distinguish them. I can't distinguish between them. So yeah, finally I can delete these videos. It's taking a lot of space. That's what I wanted to tell you. That's what I have to say. See you later.